Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up donations for your Twitch channel. Following these steps makes it really easy for your viewers to give you a donation. So in this tutorial, we'll be using a website called Streamlabs, and check the description for any links that I talk about. You can find them down there. So once you're at Streamlabs, just go to Login. And if you don't already have an account, you can create one with your Twitch account. You just have to go through the steps and authorize it within Twitch. But I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to log in with Twitch. Now that I'm in my Streamlabs account, we just go to the sidebar under dashboard and find donation settings. So now that we're in the donation settings, there are two steps to getting this set up. First, you have to give Streamlabs a way for them to pay you any donations you receive. And they have these four different options, so that's very helpful. And then we would go to the settings and configure the donation page and how everything looks and how we want to accept donations. So in this tutorial, I'll be setting up PayPal, but you can set up any of the other three methods. It's very easy. You just put your PayPal email address in there. And as you can see, it's connected right here. So we're good to go. So once you've set up your payment method, you can go over to the settings tab right here and ensure that you have the best settings for your channel. So you can configure your currency, you can configure what currency will be on the donation page. And I do recommend doing automatic detection with that just because you don't know which location in the world your viewers are gonna be from, and it's more convenient for them to have an automatic detected in their currency. The minimum amount donated, how long the donation message can be, and a lot of streamers have this message automatically play over their stream. So that's something to think about when you set that limit. You can also have suggested donation amounts. So you can even configure the lingo for a donation. It can be a donation, a tip, or even a custom word. Anything you want to type in here, you can be like, I want a Bitcoin or something like that. And that'll be what it's called on your donation page. So as you can see here, now there's a link to your donation page. And this is where users will be taken when they select that they want to donate to you. Under that, we can configure more of the look and feel of it, such as the colors, the memo that'll be there. Please donate. And then you can have a leaderboard. You can even add a custom banner there. And this is the resolution right here, the size. If you do not upload a custom banner, then it'll just use the, the banner from your Twitch channel, which is one of the benefits of having that linked to your Twitch channel. And then under that, you can configure more of the profanity filter for the messages that'll be typed from your donators, and then also their names for the leaderboard. So once you're done, you just hit save settings. So once you've saved the settings, you're ready to go. All you need to do is link to this page right here that was given to you by Streamlabs, and people can donate via that page. So let's say you set up Twitch donations via Streamlabs. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see a more detailed write-up of this, check the description or my blog at gauginggadgets.com. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.